There's another kind of reaction of alcohols that we'd like to introduce at this time. Previously, we saw that reduction reactions involved increasing the number of carbon-hydrogen bonds. In oxidation, we decrease the number of carbon-hydrogen bonds, or on the other hand, we can say that we increase the number of carbon-oxygen bonds. Alcohols can undergo oxidation by a few different methods. Secondary alcohols can be oxidized to a ketone functional group. In these reactions, the secondary alcohol will lose a hydrogen from the oxygen as well as one hydrogen from the carbon bonded to the oxygen. It will then form a pi bond between that carbon and oxygen. This carbon double bonded to an oxygen is called a carbonyl group. Primary alcohols can also undergo oxidation. In this case, we still lose the hydrogen from the oxygen as well as one hydrogen from the carbon bonded to the oxygen. We also get the pi bond formed between the carbon and oxygen. However, since in primary alcohols there is an extra hydrogen bonded to that carbon, we end up with a functional group known as an aldehyde. However, depending on the reagent we use to oxidize the alcohol, the aldehyde can be also oxidized to convert the aldehyde into a carboxylic acid functional group by removing the hydrogen and replacing it with a hydroxyl group. When we have tertiary alcohols, we see that these alcohols cannot undergo oxidation. Because the carbon bonded to the oxygen in a tertiary alcohol does not have any hydrogens attached, it cannot lose that hydrogen from the carbon. Furthermore, if we were to form a double bond between the carbon and the oxygen, the carbon bonded to the oxygen would end up with five bonds, and we know we just cannot do that.